Come on now, Steeler fans. Come on. From the backyard. Come on. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is still our team. Welcome back to the Steeler Wade Show. My name is Jake Wade coming to you from Southwest Michigan. I don't know if you noticed this uh, little bracelet. You know, if you've been watching the podcast, a couple of podcasts a few ago, I had to admit that maybe I was like a Steeler fanboy. Ah, whatever. What the fuck ever. Thank you for checking me out. And if you would, please uh, consider liking this video just for shits and giggles. You know, I saw this podcast um, a few days ago. And... The first thing that came out, not the first thing, that came out to my mind was, you know, the worst thing that could happen to the Steelers was as if they made the playoffs. Now, I know you've been watching the Steelers, and maybe you could subscribe to something like that. Uh, but... Uh, it's not my cup of tea. This is not the Steel Wade Show cup of tea. Okay. Um, I see their angles, you know, like they really want to be right, you know. Um, there's a guy, um, I forget his name, um, that had a, uh, it's on ESPN with Ryan Clark. And he's a cat that's been on the Steelers' side, and he says he's done. You know, I'll put a link to that, too, down below. Um, you know what's crazy is that guys like that in the entertainment business, they can just say, like, when we turn it around in Indianapolis, right? They'll just say, oh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. And that whole I was wrong shit will get them more views and shit that, you know, whatever. <sighs> the best thing that could happen to the Steelers is to make the playoffs. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you, man? Who are these people out there? It's crazy. I think it was Trib Live. Some local ass Pittsburgh shit. Trib Live. I don't know. I can only make it through like five, six minutes of the podcast. I was like, oh my God, dude. You guys are fucking local? Uh, I wanted to cut, touch on a couple things. I wanted to do a podcast on this whole, who are going to be the guys to bring this team up? Who are going to be the rookies that bring this team up? So I bypassed that. Did you notice my bracelet? This bracelet was made by my daughters, and uh, pretty darn, you know, I stay pretty boys. Steeler fanboy. That's right. That's right. You know, TJ, there's all this commotion about TJ Watt with a tinted visor and things like that. And then Mike Tomlin coming on his press conference on Monday, you know, not even noticing. noticing and uh, as far as I know, T.J. Watt had his helmet replaced. The whole helmet, you know. And I don't know about you guys, but if I'm hurt, I sure as heck do not want people looking at me. So maybe that was his choice. That's all I'm going to go, you know. Uh, we did get in a pinch, uh, last week by not starting the four outside linebackers, by not starting Golden, you know, and that was just, there's been a lot of dumb luck, huh. you know, a lot of dumb luck. You can just say they're all shitty. But there has been some dumb luck with the choices that they made. Golden didn't play. And, you know, 
with Highsmith and uh, T.J. Watt under the uh, um, concussion protocol, you know, and then all these stories with the tinted visor. It was just a new helmet. He got a new helmet and put it on. I don't even know. Maybe the old helmet was damaged. If it was damaged, just get a new one, and I don't want you to look at me. So, um, I and I, I'm talk. I'm doing this podcast with a kind of a heavy heart. Uh, but before I get into that, I wanted to say that someone has put out some pretty good film on uh, Nick Herbig with his first start. I'm going to put that link down below. I hope you enjoy it. It's really nice. And, you know, Steelers Now came out with an article by Alan Saunders. I'm going to put that link down below. Please consider liking my video. You know, I'd appreciate it if you would. And, uh, and the article is about Jay Glazer's comments. Now, Jay Glazer is uh, Mike Tomlin's more than a friend. That's his guy. Like his one guy, right? On the media side. Man, first off, Man, I don't want to lose Mike Tomlin. I don't. I don't want the repercussions. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to put the link down below because Alan does a much better job describing it than I will. And you can go with your own thought train on it. Um... I don't like the idea of Tomlin leaving us. You know, um, in my opinion, he's like, he's 51. He's two years, he's a year younger than my old ass. But that makes him young in the athletic. You know? And, uh, like, I think he's just coming up into his prime. But uh, the article will... Uh, might dishearten you. It disheartened me. Please like this video. Um, if you feel like it, subscribe. You know, I try to do as much positive things as I can on Steelers. And after everything have, has been going on, you know... I am going to do my best. I don't care if I have to take that money from my bitch. I am going to go to the Indianapolis game. Doggone it. My team needs me. If any of my viewers are coming from the Midwest and going to the Indy game, please link up with me somehow. Because she may end up getting mad. You know what I mean? I wanted to go to summer camp. That didn't happen. I have to be there for my team. So that's where I'm standing right now. And it's not like she's going to leave me. I'm, look how good looking I am. She ain't going to leave this. Even though I cough and spit a lot. And I have this bracelet. So I stay pretty real. My team needs me. Your team needs you. Please be positive about the Pittsburgh Steelers. And patient. You know. Um, I did run across. Uh, some really positive film work. You know. I love Daniel. Uh, from the Deal Curtain Network. He does some really great film work. And obviously Derek from Steelers Now does some really great film work. And it allows us as fans to be able to look at it 
not necessarily in their perspectives, uh, but we get to see it. You know, I'm hoping that I can have the all 22 maka maka next year, you know, um, but for right now, I love having the different angles and looking at things. Folks, this is uh, crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. You know, uh, so much talk about Deontay, so much talk about George, Mitch, Kenny Pickens. We are in a funny state. And a few podcasts ago, I talked about Deontay Johnson. Like, look, dude, if you don't want to be here, show off. Get rad, dude. Get awesome. And he's not. But get awesome. So you can be, like, presented like a gift. And I don't want to lose my comment. I don't. Like, I want him for the... 51 year old to 65 year old I want another 14 years you know but there's a part of me that says it hurts man like Tomlin is like I don't want him to be tired of us as Steeler Nation. I don't want him to be tired of us. I don't want us to be acting like jackasses. You know? Can you imagine if the crowd said fire Tomlin? Like, he would be like, are you fucking kidding me? I want him to stay. And uh, after you read the article by our Ellen Saunders, uh, <coughs> pretty boy, that's why you stay here. Please, folks, like this uh, video because I spit on content and uh, subscribe because you may end up wanting to see me spit again. Is... Here we go, folks. We're seven and six. And I personally am doing whatever I can do. And that includes pissing off my bride. And I might steal money from my own money. And just, my team needs me. Your team needs you. Right here. Well, like Mike Tomlin always talks about, this is the game we're talking about. When we get past the Colts, we're going to go to the next one. Folks, Steeler Nation, thank you for checking me out. Um, press like, and if you would like to be reminded, that you're like, oh, this guy's a whack. Press subscribe, because I like watching wax. Have a great night. AMF, folks. Steeler Nation. <laughs>